Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about active filters. Okay, so let's start from the passive low pass filter first of all. So you can see from the diagram this capacitor when the input frequency is low frequency the capacitor will behave like an open circuit so something divided by let's say zero frequency will become infinity that means this will become open so whatever is the input that will go to the output now at high frequency the capacitor will become short circuit so the input signal will pass through this and come back and nothing will go to the output so this is the basic configuration of a low pass RC filter and to work in the S domain we can just convert this into S domain so 1 over SC for the capacitor and the transfer function as you know is the ratio of the output voltage to input voltage and so if we assume a current from here so V in will be I multiplied by R plus 1 over SC I R plus 1 over SC is V in and V out will be I multiplied by 1 over SC 1 over SC so I I gets cancelled so we get this relation and after solving this is the transfer function of a low pass filter and the corner frequency or the cutoff frequency is given by omega is equal to 1 over RC and the concept of corner frequency just uh, let's revise this portion is allowing the signal to pass no attenuation but gradually as the frequency increases the filter has started attenuating and a point which is called half power point or 3 dB point you can see from here 3 dB down so this is 0 dB this is minus 5 dB so minus 3 dB will be somewhere here so 3 dB down point is taken as the corner frequency or the cutoff frequency so before this is accepted and after this is generally not accepted so that is the concept of corner frequency okay now there are three major limitations of the passive filter they cannot generate a gain so there is nothing which can generate gain in this any gain greater than one is not possible require bulky and expensive inductors so especially in the uh, LC circuit or uh, sorry RL circuit uh, you need a very big uh, inductor and perform poorly at frequencies below audio frequency so if the frequency is less than let's say 300 Hertz its performance is very poor now what is active filter an active filter we primarily use the operation amplifier which generates the gain and this add of operational amplifier then uh, overcomes the shortcomings of the passive filter. Now this is one of the design uh, for the active low pass filter. Uh, Mr. Hyatt has taken a very intelligent uh, path. What he has done is that he has taken a RC filter, low pass filter just like this. And then with that he has added an operational amplifier and this is a non-inverting amplifier so the uh, we are achieving both the low pass and the gain active filters consist of combination of register capacitor and operational amplifiers and the advantage first they often smaller and less expensive they can provide amplifier gain and the active filters can be combined with the buffer amplifier to isolate each stage of the filter so they can also be uh, providing isolation this we'll see later on 
filters are often classified to the order or number of poles so that we'll also will see but uh, this is now a low pass filter of first order we have only one operational amplifier here okay so this was the circuit uh, the combination of the low pass filter and the op amp now let's separate this portion to get the gain of rc and we put it in s domain so c is now converted as 1 over sc and from here we can find the output divided by input so out if we assume a current through here then the current multiplied by this term is the output so i into 1 over sc and the input is current multiplied by r2 plus 1 over sc so i multiplied by r2 over 1 sc and i i gets cancelled so this is the term that is remaining and after simplification this will become as shown here so this is the uh, what we call transfer function of the rc filter and now we look at the operational amplifier now this point has a voltage V and therefore we the other terminal of the operational amplifier will also have same voltage V. So we take this as V plus and now we write the two current equations. This is current entering and this is current leaving. So the two currents current entering will be V or uh, VO minus V naught, so VO minus, uh, minus V plus, sorry, divided by RF, and the second one will be V plus over R1. And from here, by simplifying, we can get V out as this, and therefore, V out over V in is 1 plus rf over 1 and this is i hope you remember this is the gain of non-inverting amplifier so we got that and the combination of the two will now give the total gain of the circuit so remember this we'll use this for solving problem now let's come on to the problem example 16.13 Design an active low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 10 kHz and a voltage gain of 40 dB. Now, what is 40 dB means? Let's see that first. So, the 40 dB gain means 40 is equal to 20 log of the voltage ratio VO over VI. And so, from here, log V2 over VI will be 40 divided by 20, that is 2. And by taking anti log, we can find the ratio of V naught over VI is equal to 100. So we'll be using this value. So the amplifier is required to provide a gain of 100 voltage by voltage, that is output over input. And this is the amplifier. So we have to find the value of R1 and RF for this this was the voltage equation so from here we can say that the gain rf plus r1 plus 1 is equal to 100 because this is 100 and this is the gain now this the total circuit or the total gain of the circuit is given by this the multiplication of the two gains as we discussed earlier now the this value cannot be more than one so let's assume that the maximum value is one therefore the gain is dependent on this term but the maximum value of the gain av is one plus rf over r1 which is 100 required so from here rf over r1 is 99 and now we have to make some assumptions. We assume that R1 is 1 kilo and therefore RF will be 99 kilo. So by assumption we get the two value. 
as long as we uh, take the values of the resistances greater than 1 kilo and uh, less than about 1 mega or near 1 mega, it's fine. Okay, now we come to the corner frequency. So this is the formula for corner frequency. The corner frequency required is 10 kilo. So we plug in that. And now we are assuming the capacitor to have a value of 1 microfarad. We are talking of this portion of the circuit. So 1 microfarad and then plugging in here, we can get the resistance R2 to be 15.9 ohm. So now we have got all the parameters. So our circuit will look like this. The resistance R2, the capacitance R1 and RF. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve uh, the active filter problems. Now let's solve the practice problem. We just follow the same technique. We have to design a low pass filter. Gain is 30 and the cutoff frequency is 1 kilo. So again, we start with the gain of 30 dB minus 30, 20 log 10 V naught over V1. And from here, taking the anti-log, the gain is 31.62. So 31.62 is 1 plus RF over R1, the gain of the operational amplifier. And from here, we get RF over R1 is equal to 30.62. Again, we assume a value of R1. Let's assume it to be 100 kilo. Therefore, RF will be 30.062 mega ohm. Now, again, this value is arbitrary. We have selected 100 kilo. We could have selected 10 kilo or 1 kilo. Then we would have this value in the lower range. So we had found out these two resistances of the operational amplifier. Now let's find or use the corner frequency formula. Corner frequency in this case required is 1 kilo. Here also we assume a value of the capacitance. And we are assuming it to be 2 microfarad. We could have assumed 1 microfarad or 5 microfarad. But since this is the given in the answer, so we'll take that. And now plugging in into the equation R2 comes to be 79.58 ohm. So our net circuit will be like this. This is R2, this is the capacitance R1 and RF. So I hope now we'll be able to solve this type of a problem for active filters, especially low pass active filters. Thank you.